You are watching a free lesson from UI design in Photoshop course. See the description below to know more about this course or watch till the end of this video. Now in this lesson I am going to talk about how to extend Photoshop's capabilities or how to add new functions to Photoshop which are currently not present in Photoshop. So there are two ways to do that. One is that you can install custom scripts made by different professionals and programmers okay and the second is that we can install photoshop extensions created by programmers or they they also use the same scripts but they can be accessed via panels okay so in this lesson we are going to install photoshop custom scripts uh, using my pc if you if you are on a mac you need to see the next lesson to find the path and where you are going to install Photoshop scripts on a Mac. So let's get started. First, what we are going to do is I'm going to show you uh, the website one script over here. So this is a script expanding smart objects by this guy Camille. And um, what it does, it, it actually expands the smart objects created by Photoshop, which in Photoshop, it is not possible to revert back to a normal folder or a group or layers when once you have created smart objects. So if you don't know about smart objects, don't bother. Uh, I, there will be a lecture uh, up ahead in the next sections about smart objects. For right now, you need to know that this capability is not present in Photoshop. Okay, so what we're going to do, we are going to download this uh, script over here. Scripts are basically in JSX or JS format. Okay, so basically these are, you can see at the end, JSX or JS format. Okay, so these, these are basically JavaScript files. Now we are going to download it. Okay, save the file. Okay, now we have downloaded the expand smart objects uh, script, custom script. We are going to copy it and we are going to install it inside the photoshop installation folder okay so i'm going to close photoshop right now make sure you close the photoshop when you are installing it because it will not appear uh, you need to restart your photoshop to update the scripts folder okay so i'm going to close it okay so i'm going to right click and go to properties and open file location so basically what we are doing is we are going to go to photoshop's presets folder uh, in Photoshop installation, you can see over here, there are different folders, plugins, presets, resources. We need to find this presets folder. Double click and we are going to find scripts folder inside it. Scripts, scripts. Okay, so here it is. You can see once I have opened this script folder, there are a lot of scripts, but these scripts are the default scripts which came along with Photoshop installation. Okay, so these are all the scripts and automated uh, task management scripts that are shipped with Photoshop. Okay, so I'm going to create a new folder over here uh, My scripts something like this and I'm going to paste it over here Now we are going to restart our Photoshop again To see how we have this updated script over here Okay, now go to file and go to scripts and you can see over here. We have new script over here cam expand smart objects Okay so let's let's test it okay so let's create a new document of any size okay so i have created a very small document okay so for now on just an example i'm going to create few layers over here okay so second one uh, let's make it a bit smaller than this one okay so i have two layers i'm going to create a smart objects object from these two Okay, now this is a smart object and there is no way that I can get back my both two layers. Okay, so I'm going to select this layer and I'm going to go to file scripts and I am going to go to cam expand smart objects using this script. Okay, so once I click this, it is going to perform some actions and you can see over here, here is the folder and it has given me both my layers back okay so this is one way of extending photoshop's capabilities which are not present in photoshop you can add new functions new functionalities there are a lot of scripts written by programmers or photoshop users okay there is one more thing you can do with these scripts you can set photoshop custom shortcut keys for that okay so we are going to go to edit keyboard shortcuts and file 
and then we are we need to go to scripts where are the scripts okay here we have the scripts and you can see this is our expand smart object so i'm going to give it a key of uh, control shift e okay so it is going to give me that it is already assigned layer merge so something like this alt control or f4 or command option f4 on your mac but right now i'm showing you how to set this key setup keyboard uh, shortcut so next time we are going to use it we are going to just press alt control f4 to expand our smart object okay this is all about custom scripts how to install them and how to set sh shortcut keys for them let's move on to the next lesson you have just watched one lesson from my udemy course and uh, let me show you what i am going to teach you in that course it has more than 100 lectures and 9 hours of video on ui design if you really want to be a ui designer you should be considering to take this course here are a few examples we are going to cover photoshop settings and preferences for ui design then we are going to cover all the basics like shadowing uh, light and uh, how to design different uh, uh, drop shadows like soft shadows inner shadows and layer effects then we are going to create a lot of awesome exercises you are going to see right now header designs mobile apps dashboard design so all these exercises we are going to cover in this course so don't waste time grab this course you are not going to find tutorials on each topic i have covered in this course for all my youtube viewers it is just dollar 10 so grab it while it is only just dollar 10 so let's see you in that course